Hey guys, welcome to Testing Academy. My name is Pramod and welcome to the 30 days of automation and testing. Guys, today we are going to discuss about the very important topic that I'm going to start. This is a day 3. We we are going to discuss about the Selenium tutorial for beginners. This is going to be a some in-depth video and I'm going to teach you about or discuss about a practical hello world example. All right. So, if you are new to Selenium or even if you are not any new, you can you, know, you can have as a refresher, right? Right. All right. So I hope you are excited. So let's get started. Yeah. All right, guys. Right. So uh, guys, welcome to the day three. If you haven't watched the uh, day one, day two, right? I will highly recommend you to watch them because those videos contain some awesome tips regarding the top books and life cycle of an automation and the different concept related to the automation, right? If you want to get the in-depth knowledge of automation, then you are at the right place, and we are going to learn about the Selenium today. right so uh that we the topic today is today is selenium tutorial for beginners uh if you want to check out the reference link all are listed here right you can do it right so let's start with the selenium right so uh selenium it's a basically if you go to the project website right it's a you can go to selenium.web right it's an automation tool right and it basically allows you to automate the web browser right for example we have interaction suppose uh we want to automate a facebook login page and what you can do is that if you know the username if you know the password right and uh, if you click submit right so what will happen is that uh, you will automatically log in right so that you can automate using the selenium this is like a very simplest example but we can do lots of user interaction right so basically it allows the extension to emulate the user interaction it's an open source tool tool and let's discuss the most important things guys this is what uh makes the selenium most important the most automate most popular automation tool right it supports different platform programming language if you are if you know java python c sharp perl php ruby javascript you can work with uh, you can work with selenium right these are the language binding which are available and definitely can help you right in uh, so i'm going to put some uh, i'm going to do a practical demo in java so if you are interested keep watching right so uh, it supports different platform like windows mac linux android and ios right and uh, it's also support the different versions of uh, different types of browsers right ie firefox the like majority of the popular browsers right so let's quickly jump to the uh, advantages and disadvantages right so why advantages and disadvantages are important guys in the interview right people are going to ask you this question like what is the disadvantage of selenium and what is the advantages of selenium over any other tool so pay attention to this because this is some in depth knowing that i am providing you right and trust me this uh, this points that i am uh, basically giving you these are uh, this these are going to help you whenever you are doing or whenever you are giving answers in the auto, uh, basically related to the uh, interview questions right so disadvantage let's come to the disadvantage first so let me make it so it's only support the web application as of now right so this is like a, one of the major disadvantage of selenium right uh, there is a steep learning curve and they are very difficult to set up right if you are very new to selenium i'm going to show you like it's very it's it's not very easy if not like one click installation and starting the automation no uh, no technical support because it's an open source source tool and there is no technical support if you are having a problem you have to go to certain groups and get the solution right if the if there is a no particular solution you are stuck in that case Selenium is very bad in handling with the dynamic web web content, which is like coming in SPA or PWA support, right? Uh, I have seen as in uh, in my experience that uh, like working with Selenium with single page application and progressive web application is very difficult to do it. You can do it, but it's very difficult, right? So that is another disadvantage. You cannot ca automate capture, uh, no proper handling of pop ups, native pop ups I'm talking about. So that is again it makes very bad right uh, limited support for image based testing as well as uh, no reporting facility it's an automation tool but there is no reporting in that case so uh, you can implement uh, by using third third party but um, as a automation tool it's it, like it's a most op most popular right, tool right so i think it should uh, have included this kind of functionality right so let's come to the advantages what makes it so popular why or why people are learning selenium uh, most of the time whenever we talk about the automation is because of this right so let me close this one it supports variety of programming language so if you are working with python ruby or any kind of a language related to java right so that is uh, you are supported open source and lots of documentation is available 
it supports multiple browser that I have discussed, right? It supports parallel execution. This is one of the important point. And in the interview, people are going to ask you why we use, what is the major advantage? The major advantage is parallel execution. If you have thousands of test cases, you can run them by making some sets and parallelly, right? In the, if they are independent, right? Uh, it provides the support. Basically, it's you can extend the functionality, right? For example, you can use test ng report. You can implement some reporting frameworks, JUnit, and all, right? So that is another important. So uh, previous to that, uh, we have a very interesting tool which is QTP, right? So I'm gonna discuss about the what is the major difference between QTP and Selenium because that is important to know. QTP was one of the largest, uh, you can say, uh, uh, you can say automation tool. People were prep people. Uh, still use it uh, now it's called as uft it's a licensed project you have to pay for it it's, uh, selenium is open so it's free to use uh, qtp runs on link windows only but in selenium it supports different browsers right uh, programming language for qtp was only hard coded with bv scripts selenium supports multiple language that's why you know, you're getting the point right why people are moving towards the selenium it's supposed it has your own know, repository Selenium has doesn't repository means you can use some patterns and all to make that right. Environment supports SAP or Eker and no, no extra software. Additional plugins in Selenium you can use the additional plugin right. So let's come to the interesting part, which is why we need the Selenium in automation right. So why we need auto, uh, why we need automation? First, you need to understand the core concept why we need automation, right? So we need automation because we want faster execution, less human resources, more accurate and stable regression testing, frequent testing, automation. Uh, automation helps to increase test coverage. Manual testing can can be boring and so can be error prone. So we want automation in that case. So why Selenium? Selenium uh, basically it can provide faster again, okay, uh, faster uh, fast. Uh, multiple multiple resources basically I need to say it supports multiple browsers right so major disadvantage why we use selenium are this one uh, supports programming languages open source multiple browser parallel execution so that's why we we need the selenium in that case I hope you are clear, clear in that thing so uh, now let's come to the major part which is the selenium suite so selenium suite comes with the three main major products which is the Selenium Web Driver, Selenium IDE, and Selenium Trade. Right. Previous to that, there was, was Selenium RC Remote Control execution where we we basically inject the JavaScript and uh, then do the testing and all. But now only Web Driver is available. So in a simple manner, Web Selenium Web Driver is nothing but a server which makes an HTTP request, right? Uh, that to the drivers uh, and that basically do the communication with the interactions, right? Right. So Selenium IDE, it's a simple one. I'm going to give you an in-depth knowledge uh, about it. So Selenium IDE is basically a record and play functionality. Uh, you can go to this link to check it out, this IDE. And uh, uh, in this Selenium IDE, you can edit the steps, export the code, right? But there are major disadvantages also. Uh, people don't prefer to use IDE as of now. Uh, Selenium WebDriver, uh, it's a web automation framework that allows you to execute your test against the different browsers uh, where what you can do is that you can write your test cases in any programming language and that you can do. So we are going to use the Selenium private driver in this demo, right? So Selenium grid, it's basically allows you to run the multiple test cases. For example, if you have thousands of test cases, you can create an infrastructure where you just add some machines, add as a node and uh, there's a hub. A hub basically acts as a manager. It is also running some charts of Selenium and node have node is basically different machines that you are uh, basically add to it and you can run your test case by distribute your test case in that case. So all of these Selenium IDE web driver and grid, I'm going to explain you in the next videos, right? They have a different, different full chapter where I'm going to explain in depth knowledge of it. I'm just giving you a high level introduction about the Selenium, right? So let's learn, uh, let's uh, do a practical demo. Let's run a test. What you need to do is that you need to install JDE. I would recommend you to go to Google and uh, install it. Let me show you how you can do it and type JDE, JDK, so uh, JDK download, right? And you can have some links, right? So if there, this is a link, or it can be a different link according to uh, probably, uh, but uh, you get the point, right? Uh, you can install IntelliJ. So IntelliJ, IntelliJ is a basically an IDE of JavaScript, right? You can go to, you can search IntelliJ, right? And you can download the community edition, which is free. And you can you need to download certain 
uh, selenium jars so that you can do by go to selenium dot dev and go to downloads and here you can download the four version so uh, also you need to add the uh, drive basically you need to add the drivers uh, for example if you want to run your test case on firefox or you want to add, run your test cases on uh, windows or mac right so you need to have some drivers right so what you can do here is that let me show you so this is a link of chrome driver and uh, there is a link for gecko also right so this is a link basically site.google slash chromium chrome driver you can download the driver from here as well as you can download a gecko driver from here uh, there is a download according to your machine right and i'm going to put some link uh, so what you need to do is that you need to add those driver into your part so if i uh, let me show you so if, if you're on mac you can do sudo nano extra path let me uh, put my password here right and you need to enter a path here for example i have added a web drivers path right and what this path contains if i do ls so it contains the downloaded the the cisco file that i have already downloaded right extract it and put it here in this folder so what you need to do now is that it's very simple here right go to intellij click on project right uh, select the java uh, select your jdk version which is uh, 11 in my case it is 11 click on next right uh, i would recommend you to click from command line uh, next let's do chapter one demo right and i'm gonna put a new window open this into a new window right now what you need to do is that you need to add the dependency so open the module setting it is yeah, open module setting dependencies uh, click on this plus button and jars right and here what you need to do is that uh, go to downloads and mention the jar that you have downloaded from this link which is here this one and click open and click tick basically and click ok now the selenium is already added to your uh, project file okay so let me uh, switch to my demo part so now uh, if you see what i have done is that i have created a hello world program right so what we are doing is that we are opening this url in this case uh, this one right so uh, what uh, let me uh, explain you this concept right so what we are doing here is that we are basically uh, if you know java right uh, so we are basically creating an instance of a chrome driver this is a driver and now uh, in selenium most of the commands are something like this driver dot driver dot right so driver dot get is basically to open a particular link so driver dot get you need to uh, give a link for it now on that page if you want to find an element right so this is the page this is a page i want to find this element if i open up the console right you can also click right click and inspect and go to elements and click on this icon so let me move let me be clear click on this icon and select this one select this username and as you can see name is equal to username right so there is another there is a particular method which is by dot name so if you want to find this element so this is a basically an html structure right and we are using a driver dot find element which is a pre-made uh, function that needs a name of the element that you want to find so i'm gonna find i'm just finding the I'm just finding the username and I'm sending a keys. So if we, uh, if you read here, username is this and password is this, right? So if you enter correctly, for example, let me enter here, this one. So you will be logged in, logged into the app, right? So there's a secure page. So that's, that's the same thing we are doing. We are, we are getting the username element and we are passing the username. We are uh, getting the password. We are passing the password and now what we are doing here is that driver dot find element i need to uh, let me log out again i need to click this login button right so this login button has, has a class right so right so uh, you can use the method of class name also so let me show you one thing which is driver dot find element 
and by dot so there are like couple of uh, ways you can find a particular element by name by css selector by id by link text by partial by tag name i'm going to give you an in-depth knowledge about the locator strategy in selenium and probably in the next upcoming tutorials right so that uh, right now we are just running we are just logging in so we have entered a username password and we have captured this element and we are just doing a click on it. after just i'm just doing a print of it i'm just basically want to print this uh, so we have added on the main function so if, if i try to run this one let's see what will happen so it is passing it is running the test and as you can see it has opened the chrome driver uh, chrome chrome uh, browser sorry and uh, login and enter the username password and done right so this is the user using this is the url that we are getting right so let me stop the program and we have basically made a driver.quit api right so that you can do right so uh, this is how you can run the hello world program and i hope uh, this is like a first part of it i know uh, the, lots of things are a bit, little bit confusing but trust me in the next video or probably in the next video i'm going to explain everything we are going to learn about the ide web driver grid and uh, we're going to learn more about this right so thanks a lot for watching i'll see you in the next video bye